In this video, we'll look at some of the content types in action. We're going to focus on the tone types in this video. So let's start off by looking at the simplest type, which, and we're only going to focus on the entrainment type. We'll later deal with uses for tones by themselves because we can create monaural binaural beats or harmonic box X at an advanced level from the tones manually. But we might as well start off by using the tools that are available here. So let's first look at binaural beats. And when you insert a binaural beat track, it is a tone track. So it's basic settings that are available here. When you click the uh, menu for the content effects, it has a pitch assigned, which is controllable by nodes along this track, and it has volume assigned, and it sets it at a low volume because binaural beats are normally low in the uh, audio mix. So um, those are the two types, and that's all you need to create a binaural beat. The rest is calculated. Now, a Entrainment track is assigned this default entrainment track. If you had more than one, it would assign the default one. If you needed to, you would select here and change it. Change the track, the track that's assigned to it. All right, so let's play back our binaural beat. We can hear it now. And now I'm going to use a spectral analyzer to demonstrate it to you. You can see that we have two tracks. Go ahead and scale that. These are our two tone tracks and they're offset around 180 so it's 10 Hertz so one's going to be at 175 and the other's going to be 185. And You can see how that they are out of phase modulating. We can also look at this phase meter here and see that they're swapping at around 10 Hertz. The beat collision that's created by these two tones in the different tracks are uh, colliding and creating this 10 hertz beat that we see here. So this is a useful display in a later video I'll go into detail on how to set it up for my workstation but I find it very useful. So that is a binaural beat and it only has again two types of tracks available, content uh, effects tracks that you can add nodes to so you could interpolate, change the volume over time, you could change the pitch over time, and it has an entrainment track automatically assigned. So one other thing that defines a binaural beat is that here in the tone options the tone separation types, the automatic tone separation options for binaural monaural, the tone separation type is set to binaural beats. And you could choose to invert the right and left sides if you wanted to swap which was the high tone and which was the low tone. But that's characteristic of a binaural beat and you could turn a tone track into that. And uh, monaural beats are the same way as well as harmonic box X. So I just wanted to point that out that within tone options here or by double clicking on the track, you're going to see that these types of tone tracks, binaural, monaural, harmonic box X, have a tone separation type set. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. And we're going to add a monaural beat. All right, monaural beat is essentially the same structure as the binaural beat, except that they're not panned across. The, these are centered. Both of these are centered. So let's listen to that. And we'll go and look at our scope. See, these tracks are stacked together. Now, they still have a beat collision, but the beat collision is moving along with both of them together. 
they're stacked on top of each other now keep in mind that a binaural beat is audible without headphones whereas a binaural beat is not unless you have the speakers very close together and you're kind of in the sweet spot for the speakers but we can look at the phase and see that they're doing the same movement around 10 hertz so a monaural beat doesn't require that both channels are panned it moves um, together and in a stacked channel same settings for the content effects tracks though and so you could animate the pitch over time and you can animate the volume over time and of course you can always animate the entrainment and change it in fact let's do that let's add a node and go down to let's say four let's say two see so you can watch them watch it modulate as it moves down and let's look at our phase see so the phase is moving downward So I just moved it to where it's around five. So you can hear that the monaural beat slows down as it moves across the interpolation. So that is the basis for binaural and monaural beats. In other videos, we'll cover harmonic box X and isochronic tones.